Welcome on this new video about financial accounting. Today we're going to study together what is a balance sheet. So often in an exercise or in a case you will be asked to fill in what is called a balance sheet. So it is a kind of table that um, is one type of financial statement as for example an income statement. Uh, so to be clearer, it is a table that reports the origin and the uses of all the resources managed by a company. Those resources are divided into two categories. So the first one, the assets, and the second one, the financing. So first, let's define the assets. To make things clearer, assets are resources controlled by the company and that results from previous events and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the company. So for example, we can have machines, equipment, buildings, or even some uh, kind of stocks. Just for you to know, assets can be divided into two categories. So first tangibles and the other is intangibles. So basically tangibles assets are the ones that you can touch or have between your hands. It's for example, a machine, a building, and the others, so the intangibles, or things that you cannot touch properly because it is uh, things like patents or copyrights, just to protect um, your company. So assets can be also divided into two other categories, so current assets and non-current assets. So what is the difference? The current assets are basically assets that can be easily converted into cash and that will be used within one year. So for example, your cash will be used within one year, so it is considered as a current asset. We can also talk about um, the stocks or your inventory or uh, receivables, that is money that is due to you so that you will be able to use during the year. So there are um, current assets. As for the non-current assets, it is all the other assets that represent a longer term investment. So for example, um, a building, a machine, so things that you will use for more than one year because you don't uh, buy them for using them just for one year. Now that we define the term of assets, let's see the other part, which is the financing part. So you need to know that the financing part is divided into two parts, so equity and liabilities. And this formula is really important. You need to know that financing equals liabilities plus equity. So first, let's define the liabilities. So liabilities are present obligations arising from past events the settlement of which will result in an outflow of um, fewer economic benefits from the company to another entity. And as for the equity, so it corresponds to the residual interests in the company's assets after deducing the liabilities. So you do uh, financing minus liability and you have your equity parts. So now to sum up a little bit what we saw earlier. So in a balance sheet, you have two kinds of resources, your assets and your financing. And basically assets are resources that flow to the company and financing are all the resources that flow from the company to another entity. And now uh, two other key points that you always need to remember for the balance sheets. It is first that the goal of the balance sheet is to give at a specific time the financial situation of, for example, a company. And the second one is that you always need to have your both sides balanced. So in a balance sheet, when you have assets, for example, you have 10 in assets, you always need to have 10 in the financing part so that your balance sheet is always indeed balanced. So after studying the balance sheet, now we're going to study another type of financial statement, which is the income statement. Often in an exercise or in a case after uh, having completed the balance sheet, you will be asked to fill in an income statement. So what is it? So it simply uh, corresponds to the statements of profits and losses of a company at a current time. So basically, it gives you uh, the income generation of a company on a given period. To get this amount, you subtract the amount of losses from the amount of profits. So thank you for having listened to this video. I hope it helped you to understand a bit better your financial accounting course. And see you later. Allez, la bise enflammée.